is the Glass Cannon Network. Happy Thursday, everybody. I've got a question that I know is going to be on everyone's minds all week. Any of you want to buy all five seasons of The Wire? (laughs) (laughs) What did you, what are you moving? That's like the only time I think people find those. Like, oh, no, I just, I'm I'm trying to get rid of stuff. And uh, I've got a bunch of books and I'm just throwing them out. Because it's like, I, I don't want, I don't want all these books. I don't need all these screenwriting books i was just gonna ask you are you throwing out the screenwriting books (laughs) and actor prepares and all this shit (laughs) you don't prepare anymore that's you know you know i'm not gonna throw my i'm gonna donate them to a library but my dvds i was like ready to be like what what are you gonna do with these that's a old nonsense thing and then i'm like i can just put these on ebay i think people might buy them maybe i'll make a couple hundred bucks by a uh, couple hundred bucks is that a lot? I or wish not? you the I actually best. bought my my collected <laughs> set of the Wire DVDs from eBay some some years ago. Well, For would how, you like how much? Down by Law Criterion Collection? Oh, I'll buy that off you. Yeah, All right, five hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, that is a fair price. I don't know. I don't know how you can. Chunking Express, to sell. Matthew. Ooh, actually. I'll hold this one for you. It's hold that one for me. <laughs> uh, though I don't know why you would get rid of DVDs when things are disappearing from streaming left and right. Yeah. I'll, I'll just give this one to Skid. I'm buying more Samurai. DVDs now. Oh. Uh, seven, seven. Seven Samurai. There you is go. Is that a criterion as well? This is the game. Do we, I detect uh, the game. a criterion? Yeah, I've got a lot of criterions. I, I think there's only, uh, Matthew, I think you're right, but I do think there is one decent reason to get rid of DVDs, which is something that came up. Uh, it was New Year's Eve. My sister was over. And we were like, oh, uh, I can't remember. Something came up with it. You want to borrow this? D- oh, she wanted to borrow a DVD from my dad. She's like, oh, I want to borrow that movie. I haven't watched it in years. I want to watch that movie. And then she paused and went, wait a minute. I don't think I have a DVD player in my house. <laughs> <laughs> that is the one reason to move on from DVDs if you literally don't have a player in your house anymore, which some people will be surprised to find is the case. Like they don't realize, like, wait a minute. I don't have one anymore, especially people that don't have video game systems. <laughs> I was but saying, you will your PlayStation a, play a, D, play a yeah, DVD? I think so. Yeah, Blu-ray. your PlayStation will. And then if you have a, a, a external card reader or external uh, disc reader for your laptop, and then you HDMI your laptop to your TV, boom. Yes, but they don't make external, car- like, they don't make discs yes, in laptops do. anymore. Not really. I Here's, have an external external disc reader. It's a how, USB plug, and you plug oh, it oh, in. Oh, external, external. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's something else you had to buy. It didn't come with the computer. Here's the thing. Everything in this box... I can find. Even if I'm like, you know what? I really want to watch the Royal Tenenbaums. I could just find it. It might cost three dollars. What? For now, but there's actually this. Uh, there's a real. I'll send you a really interesting article. There's like a bunch of You're movies. You're a fearmonger, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I just feel like you made the investment. Clearly, you cared about it one day. I mean, if you're going to donate to a library, donate to a library. That sounds great. And I'm, they might even take your DVDs. But no, I'm selling these. <laughs> <laughs> to a library or not a library <laughs> at a, at an extreme markup <laughs> yeah <laughs> no, but you're really worried about this you think we're going to lose all this stuff no i mean i'm not really worried but i also those everything you named i was like that's a great thing to have why are we losing it matthew is it because of licensing issues and it's are you a hoarder and i'm not an expert in this but basically certain services that will go unnamed have been taking stuff off of their streaming platform, possibly for the tax write-off, possibly because they're going to then sell it to a different streaming service to make more money. Mm. So it might, you know, things might come back on other platforms. It might not. It's just it's an interesting time because streaming is being is reshifting. But it'll happen to me all the time. Uh, I'll be looking for a title and it will not be available anywhere streaming. Finally, There's a lot of movies that something have just, that, relatable. Because, (laughs) listen, Hulu had all of the episodes of Housewives and then (laughs) Peacock or something or Paramount bought it. Either I don't have either of those. It's on one of them. Anyway, it's rough out there. I agree with you. I totally relate. Yeah, same same phenomenon. See? Yeah. Kate feels the same way we do. Junking Express. You should actually, you should get Peacock because they have all the below decks. 
<sighs> Shining Express is great, but if I ever want to watch it again, I feel like I can drag it down. And then I'm even even still, I'm gonna be like, where the hell I put, I gotta get that DVD? And I'm gonna hold on to it just so that I might want to watch it one more time. That's what we used to do. There. I've I got know, an we've, example. We've moved on. I've got an example. What's that show that you guys told me to watch that's freaking hilarious? Uh, the Ricky Gervais, uh, I think yes. it's Ricky. Oh, Extras, Extras. Gone. Extras. Gone. gone. I, I want to watch it. These guys say I would love it, and yeah. I can't find it anywhere, even to buy, even to pay for. Mm, I can't thing. find it. But true, I mean, true, I was like, deep. What I what we did is I have a lot of DVDs, but I don't want to de I don't want to clutter up my shelves. I just bought like like a disc wallet and put stuff in there. It takes up a very small amount of. And I can footage. never sell them because they don't have the clam shell. People want the, the clam shell. <laughs> yes, people. Troy's got his finger on the shell. pulse of what people want, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm putting these. I don't like DVDs it when you whisper out. clam shell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can purchase a set of the wire DVDs on eBay right now. I'm telling Didn't you, I look you and see the sold one. <laughs> I'm 75 bucks for a f uh, f five. Some of these I've never even watched because I Ooh. bought them and then like HBO streaming started. Oh, I can get I can get it, Troy. Look at this. Wait, uh, how much? I'll, I'll brand match that price. new. Thirty-seven ninety nine. The, whole, the entire seasons? collection. All five seasons. <laughs> Are they the, in the original boxes? No, no. This is the special complete series. You don't set. want that crap. That's what I have actually. This is the original. <laughs> yeah, you. All you want the these original scratch DVDs? Okay, <laughs> I can get the I can get the complete fifth season DVD. Uh, that's the whole thing, original packaging. Yep, that's it right there. Six sixty two. Six hundred and sixty two dollars. <laughs> yes, Troy. Six hundred and sixty two dollars. You know what? Five bucks right now. <laughs> <laughs> you want? No, I'm going to offer the whole set. There's more money in the whole set because you can't buy these anymore. You can't buy the original. Why don't we <laughs> give it away in chat? Can buy them. <laughs> <laughs> can't buy these. These actual ones. <laughs> yeah, everyone hate. start start your bidding in the chat for how much you would buy Troy's used DVDs for. Is that against Twitch terms of service? Uh, what, 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 what you really should do what you, I, and I'm not even joking is you should you should auction them off for charity. Anybody want the complete works of George Carlin? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I will say though, as a child um, growing up in like the changeover from VHS to DVD, I do have like vivid memories of our our entertainment cabinet where we would keep all mm -hmm. the movies. Mm -hmm. And I remember the spines like vividly mm -hmm. of different VHS tapes that I loved and different DVDs. And we had some like classic movies in the front that I will never forget and that I wish I had on DVD. Actually, I do have a few of them. I took them from my mother's house. Um, but we had Rocky Horror Picture Show, Spinal Tap, uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Mm. And those are the three that I just remember. And I'm like, oh, those movies. Oh, classics. And they're sort of classics, kind of. But like, yeah, I just- are classics. The physical, classics. there's something to having the physical object. So I, I agree with you, Troy, that there is value in it, but more so not to sell, to like have. Yeah, but it's also like what- I, I, Look, I knew Troy for years. I we hung out in his apartment all the Dude, time. I know, tips. I know those wire DVDs. They <laughs> sat on the bottom shelf, unwatched by anyone. A decade ago, they were not yeah, watched. That's very true. <laughs> like they, they just collected dust and they things piled up on them, and then dice would just get lost behind them. Like that's all that <laughs> yeah, they were there for. Yeah, they were a dice barrier. <laughs> so now it's so just like years. just just get rid of them. They clutter up yeah. your life. I I'm not like. Listen, when I found out about the whole Marie Kondo thing, I was like, that sounds like my jam, but I don't have the time to do all that. But I like the idea of just like, does this, does, does Breaking Bad season four bring me joy? <laughs> I hope so, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful, but like, does this Blu-ray that I've never even opened bring me joy? <laughs> when this will never not be available to me if I want to watch it. No, but I, maybe I can sell it. Let's but see. so does selling it bring you joy? Yes. Well, yes. there you go. It feels like a <laughs> yes. Keep it. But keep what? it. <laughs> so that though, so therefore, <laughs> keep it. Yeah. Ooh, I can get a hot, hot brand new Breaking Bad season four Blu-ray on eBay for right. six dollars and forty-one cents. <laughs> What's with these six sixty-two, six forty? Is it the same seller? Uh, wait, wait, wait. I found one for eight ninety-nine. So if you want to charge the premium price. All right, so there's a market. Uh, there's a market. So you're it. telling me there's a market. Well, that's the thing is like, I could sell it. You know, if, that's what I'm saying. There might be $100, $150 
in here. You know, it's like going to a yard sale. I'm I'm just yard sailing my DVDs online. How many hours are you going to spend putting them online, <laughs> packing them, responding to buyers? Is it's it really worth not that be hourly worth rate? A hundred and ten dollars. Yeah, no. I'm we have had multiple extremely important company related parcels that needed to be sent from your house that have never been sent because <laughs> you don't know how to go to a post office and mail something. I know. I just can't do it. I know. So like, what I are you going to do when you actually sell the full collection it. of The Wire for $42? You're going you're to have to refund your six sixty two a season. <laughs> You need like the Catherine Keener, we sell your stuff on eBay store from 40-year-old virgin. Yeah. <laughs> really, I really do need that. It seemed silly at the time, but that's what I need. You know, Troy, you said it. You do live in the country now. You could have a yard sale. People that's true. do that. You just put tables out there, put the DVDs out, sit out there in your lawn chair, meet the neighbors. Well, there are uh, people that are way into yard sales. They like go, they buy, oh, they yeah. flip on eBay. Gary V still goes to yard sales and fucking flip shit. Uh, there's money to be made. There's a video you have to see, Troy, that skit I think you would like, and Kate, you guys, I think most of all, but it's called The Price Master. Uh, they're, they're on YouTube. Have you seen this skit? Do you know what no, this is? No, no. What it's, is that? Um, it's like a yard sale that these people host, and they like film it, and there's this guy in like a golden mask on a little stage that they built with a microphone, and people have to ask him what he wants to sell items for. So they hold up like a shitty mug, and they're like, can I have this mug? And he just goes... That will be four hundred thousand dollars, and the people are just like, "Okay, no," and then and then they're just like, "Okay, bye," and they just kind of walk away. And it's real; it's like real people, and they just do it as a gag. And he's always like five million dollars, and it's like an echo on his voice. And Troy, that's what you should do. I'm just looking for 110 bucks. <laughs> I'll give you the whole box. <laughs> <laughs> With a low, low price. Oh. Down by, did I mention down by law? Um, all right. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's play a little Pathfinder, huh? John King Express DVD, Quentin Tarantino pre Presents Edition, 99 cents on eBay. Well, we're about to take the Chunking Express to end of the combat town. <laughs> All the leaves are brown. All the leaves are brown. This was, uh, you've been on this boat for what seems like three episodes. Uh, <laughs> actually, four episodes, because you guys started this in Philly. But uh, dates back to oh my 2022. God. This dream <laughs> has been started last year. This dream yeah. has been really a has. Early hominids were just discovering stone tools when we started this combat. <laughs> <laughs> hominids. I thought, I really thought like halfway through last week's step, I was like, you, I think this is, this can be over pretty soon, especially when you neutralize the wraith. But the captain, old Captain Crunch has still got some pop in him. Uh, even though he scratches the top of your mouth. It is. Well, let's snap and crackle him. Let's snap and crackle him. So it is, Suki, ready. you you just went. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where I have a note that says Suki just went. Uh, so Atticus, oh, I grabbed the hat. I grabbed. Grab the, the hat. Listen, you grab the hat. But remember, to wake up is three actions. It is a will DC, a will save, uh, with a decently high DC. Okay, and then you wake up. Great, you got the hat. Mission accomplished. However. Ethel will die. Are you ready to make that sacrifice? You talking to me? I'm talking to all of you. Also, I want to say, because I know on the map it's it's hard, but I am above the captain because I am a pterosaur. I I'm see. I'm a flying dinosaur. I'm flying. So I'm sort of like, I guess, hovering above him with the hat in my talons. You know, I'm embarrassed. I was so uh, taken back by your uh, mispronunciation of the dinosaur <laughs> that I didn't give you an effective pawn. So let me give you one right now. There you go. What? <laughs> That's not me. 
What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> it's not so me. Sad. There you are. It's a dead stegosaurus. stegosaurus. You know me. That's not me. And I'm purposely leaving the background on. That. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It's a S T. So you even pronounce the S? Right. Yeah. It's a stegosaurus. Yeah, it's a I believe. Tegosaurus. 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 Right. Sukisaurus. There you are. <laughs> Make me sound dumb. Look at those wings. <laughs> Atticus, you are up. Okay. Atticus, good buddy. Take the hat. Take, 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 take the hat from me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm flying. Okay, yes. great. Yes. <laughs> take okay. it. Okay. Athletics Perfect. check. I was trying to think of like a Suki's clever way to take it from you. I could just literally go take it from you. I'm flying. <laughs> I'm flying. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm flying. <laughs> Look at me, way up high there. <laughs> uh, Look at me, I'm okay. flying. Atticus. Uh, moves. Past the wraith. Flying down. Well, no, you're up. So he's up, so <laughs> he flies to Suki. <laughs> What? Troy's putting wings on top of the horrible dinosaur drawing. I believe. <laughs> Little baby I wings. I believe. It's kind of cute now. Yeah, look I know. I do believe, do believe in fairies. So you know, I do look like that. I do look like that. I'm a pudgy little dinosaur with like tiny little bat wings, and that's what I look like canonically. Yeah, like uh, Atticus dragon. is going to fly to Suki, interact action, grab the hat, and then fly action, fly 30 feet further out from the ship, out over the water. Wow. Okay, so Operation Hat Extraction has begun. sha ga 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 Evidently so. It is Operation Hat Extraction. <laughs> it is Ethel's turn. Ethel, you are at zero hit points and you're stabilized. So you're unconscious, you're not dying, right? Yes. But you do take some persistent damage, which immediately takes you to dying. Yes, it does. Your but I have a hero point. Do you? Oh. Yeah. It's a new session. New session. Tech. Oh, tech. Gross. Oh. Gross. <laughs> Genius. No, I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to use it right now. Oh, come on. That would be so good. You've made me question the entire con. <laughs> I know. I know, I almost, Matthew. Why do you have I to shine a spotlight it. on it, ruin it for all of us? Starting a new rule. <laughs> when combats no. carry over, no. you don't get the cap to the end of the combat. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, that is Atticus's turn. He's done. Okay. And Ethel, also done. Uh, um, do I need to roll a save? No, because I... I, I you were my, fine. My dying like now. And then the end of your turn, you persistent jump. No, you you roll a flat check to, to get rid of the persistent them. Oh, yeah. Did you oh, roll that last time? I didn't roll it last time. Dude. You cheater, you cheater Troy LaValle. How dare you? How dare you? I'm balancing two Pepsis. <laughs> you have one Pepsi. <laughs> it's it's, it's, you're, it's true. I, I, you're, I, I, I'm asking. I'm trying to sell DVDs. <laughs> I <laughs> just What's walk into a bar. Thing? You have well, eBay up on your other dream. monitor. <laughs> What's the flat check to get rid of the persistent damage? Walk into a nightclub, last season three. Last season Natural three. one. So that was oh. last. That was last turn. And okay. Now here's the flat check for this turn. Lame hand off the chest piece. Uh, twelve. Okay. So, you're, so we did it by the book. Okay. Wait, what's the DC for you? It's Joseph flat was check. fifteen, and 15 I believe. Flat oh, fifteen. That's right. Great. Awesome. Love persistent damage. I love um, persistent damage. Mmm. I got that mm. one right. Mm. You got that right. Uh, it's Pepsi's turn. <laughs> Pepsi, uh, oh, Pepsi, oh no, Pepsi is still, they're just doing their threatening thing. That was the only thing I could command them. Oh no, they have two actions. Um, but so, you didn't, did you command to do other actions or did you just, was your thing the whole? My command is one. So they took their one action to threaten the space and now they have one action left. So they're just gonna bite uh, at Captain Vudra. I think you're making this up. Okay. What are you no, I'm talking about? Is this the special ability for the constrictor? No, oh, no. Hold on, everybody. It takes one, <laughs> one of my actions to command my companion. Right. That was Correct. my action. So then and they And it hasn't took, been its turn yet. No, it has. It, they took their first part of their turn yeah. to threaten the space. Now they're getting their second action. They're in the uh, initiative order. I'm with you, sister. Yeah, they can act. Hold on. Hold they on. can act whenever. I looked this up, Joe, because you said this last time. 
They can act during my turn. They can act after my turn. As long oh. as I use my one action to command them first, then they can take their... Oh, that's amazing. I didn't know yeah. that. Wow. Yeah. I looked it up because I was like, it seems dumb that they can't act until I'm fully done with my turn, but it's, yeah, it's not. You can do it at the beginning. So what's the point of their initiative? They technically don't have an initiative. I think we messed that one up. I think what it is is they just act on my turn whenever I want them to. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's so can, that was the exact opposite. Okay. I can double check, but I was rereading the Druid stuff earlier and I'm pretty sure, but okay. either way, this is legal, but that I'll, I'll check the initiative stuff. A month from now when we're caught up on cannon fodder, we'll know. We'll, oh, we'll, we'll know. know. <laughs> we'll apologize uh, to a... Sydney on air. I promise you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> apologize. Sydney that's a 30 to hit. Natural 17. Ooh. 30 to hit my pl- poor flat-footed captain. That is a hit. Yes. Nice. Is he still uh, flat-footed there, uh, Kate? Yep. Even between weeks? Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if he's nice not, try. Matthew gets a hero point. Fair enough. That's uh, nine points of piercing damage <laughs> as it right. bites into his leg. I can't find him on the board. He's under Nine, he's under points. <laughs> <laughs> nine points of piercing. Okay. All right. You guys have done like a little bit of damage to him. Not a lot. Um, it almost seems like he's like getting some of these hit points back every round too, which mm. is weird. Mm. Which is like totally weird. All right. That is your turn? Yep. All right. Well, now... It's the captain's turn, and the captain is mad. What's the range on this? Range of touch, perfect. Who's nearby? Ethel. Suki, you're still, oh, you're a dinosaur. Uh, All right, it's gonna take a step. Pepsi does not get an attack of opportunity, and then he is going to touch Eris. Eris, I need you to roll a fortitude save, and don't lie about your result. Why would I lie? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm why. using my hero point. I rolled a natural one. <laughs> oh, oh no. Lord. No. Good use of the hero point. Natural 12, so that's a 27. Fail. Seriously? Yeah, not a critical fail. His DC, his spell DC is very high. This is going to be a chill touch that's been heightened to fifth level. Oh. Um, so this is going to be... Duh, 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 duh. You're living, right? Negative. Yeah, technically. Damage equal to... All right. Basic four to... You're, all right, so... Enfeebled for one, one round on a... Crit- all right, so you're not... You didn't critically fail. So it is going to be 5d4 plus my spellcasting mod. A decent amount of damage. Oh. Not a lot. Uh, that is gonna be 19 points of damage. Cold damage. Cold. You just feel this cold. icy cold. hand cold reach cold. out towards your mouth neck. It touches you right below the gizzard and you just feel this chill run throughout your body. I don't have a gizzard. Well, then he doesn't know what he touched. She <laughs> goes, ew, don't touch me. What was that? <laughs> Eris, it's cold, your turn. Cold, slithery hand. You're right turn? next. It's your turn, and you're right next to this guy. All right, listen. I'm being dragged down to the pits of this blood ship. Mm-hmm. I was just touched by a gross, cold hand. An angel. Damp hand. Um, I'm going to cast on myself gaseous form. Gaseous. 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 Okay. Um, yeah. So I guess I touch myself. And I transform into a uh, vaporous state, and I'm amorphous. Oh. Um, I can't like cast spells while I'm like this, but I can fly. So I'm hoping I can um, get away from the chain, get away from this creepy cold guy. Oh, that's right, because you were grabbed. So mm-hmm. now that you, what a great use of that. So now that you've gone gaseous, the, uh, the manacle just has nothing to grab onto. Is there any penalty to casting while grabbed? Is Did there? you add the grabbed John to your hero? Add condition. I can't imagine. Isn't there something about a flat What's check grabbed? when you have a manipulate action? Uh, manipulate. Uh, DC grab. five. 
Yeah, I think um, you just might have to do a DC five wow. flat check. So grabbed also added flat footed. That wouldn't affect you. It's just the DC five to be able to cast that spell because the spell has the manipulate. Okay, so it's a flat it. check of DC five. Yep, just roll a five, five or higher. I rolled an eight. <laughs> oh. oh. <Hail. sighs> the skin of your gizzard, you made it. Oh, um, my teeth are wet. And then she can move <laughs> ten feet. <laughs> Okay, um, so you've while she's just... flying, so I'm gonna move away. And she goes, "I'm sorry, Ethel." Um, diagonal is ten feet, right? Um, no, first one is five. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Um, oh, uh, I, I don't want to go next to the lady either. She's up in the air, right? Uh, no, the whatever. No, lady, she's just very floating. Okay, you, you can go back towards the other boat. <laughs> um. I'll go re- I'll go next to the lady. She's stupefied anyway. How dare you? <laughs> She's, she may be clumsy. She may be stunned, but she is not stupefied. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. And also, at the end of my she's turn, quite cunning. <laughs> um, <laughs> impending tomb. <laughs> impending doom takes its final form. Um, oh. So for him, I forget what we said was his vision of dying. Oh, but it's all it, the it was the all the people he'd people oppressed, like decks. pulling right. him down below decks to just stab him over and over. So maybe and over. as the chain lets go of me, he like kind of sees that, like it's trying to bring him down, and it resolves. Um, so um, you become frightened one, which you already are, and at the end of the third round, which is right now, you take half damage. So that's do I roll sixty six and then half it, or just roll three d six? No, 66 and half it. Okay. Uh, oh, six. wow. So that pain is is going to give him mental damage. just like weakens his actual physical form. That's cool. 19. Cool spell. 22, so that's 11 points of damage. Nice. Okay. All okay. right. Damn. That's good. Okay. Uh, great. That was Eris's turn. And now it is the Bloodwind's turn. What should the blood wind do? All right, so Aldo's back up on the boat. Suki's flying around as a dinosaur. Let's get you out of there. Uh, Atticus, where the hell are you? He's you about 30 board. feet off the port side of the ship. Rude. Uh, okay, um, you're gonna see then something happen to, uh, let me see, Serena's here, I'm gonna shove. Um, yeah, like uh, all of a sudden the ship like bucks unevenly, <laughs> and Alda, you're start to starting to lose your footing. Uh, give me a fortitude save. Oh come on! Oh, excuse me, not a fortitude save. I just need to do a fortitude DC. Oh, I fortitude wrote. DC yeah. is is oh fortitude DC is twenty four. It, I've rolled like a 41. So the, the bucking of the boat is enough to trip you and you fall prone. Okay. And then we go to your turn at the top of a new round, Aldo. What All right. It's going to happen here. Aldo is going to, like he falls over. He immediately stands up. One action. Um, and he goes over to Ethel. Walks over to Ethel. And he is going to administer a an elixir of life. Ah, mm. to him. Uh, an elixir of life. Uh, life. And do nine points of healing. To Amazing. Him. <coughs> okay. Wake up! Wake up, you silly nudge! And that's my plan: is to wake up as soon as possible because we have the hat. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. So that brings you to consciousness, and you lose the dying condition and go to wounded one. That sounds you were, great to me. Yeah. yeah. You were dying one. You weren't dying two, right? I yeah. was dying one. Yeah, because you're back. All right, so now you're wounded one, but you've lost the dying condition. Are you guys going to pull this off? The great the great hat caper? All right. Um, let's see. Is it my... Uh, yes, it's the, the Wraith's turn. <laughs> Bonnie Wraith. Uh, <laughs> Standing right next to Eris, I've got one action. I don't think she can do anything cool with one action. Oh, no, she can. Uh, she is going to uh, reach out her dark spectral hand at you. And it like, it goes right through you as she touches at your chest. No. He's trying to touch me. 
Everybody's trying to get a piece of Eris. Uh, that's gonna be a 34. Eris is a gas. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. I'm a gas and that means things. You dummy. So I lose <laughs> the item bonuses tonight. <laughs> Uh, I, even, I can't do anything, can I? <laughs> well, so I'm in amorphous state, and I lose any Kate, item your bonuses. Skype is making you look like you're in an amorphous state. Uh, yeah? I mean, it might be your green screen. I'm seeing some crazy oh, stuff. Oh, so, yeah, it's because, we're, it's because we're in large gallery. If you go back and forth, it goes away. It did it to me last episode. Ah, uh, there we go. It's nothing. Um... Well, I think I still hit you. In fact, I think your AC goes down. So it that does. I be lose any item bonuses. Um, I have resistance eight to physical damage. I'm immune to persistent damage. Oh, so does is... that just negate your spell or no? Probably no, in not, fact, it might be a critical. Um, yeah. Let me see. Defense. I've got a plus one. So what, what did you hit me with? Well, here's the thing. I don't think it's physical damage because it's negative damage. So you get resistance eight to physical. I wonder mm -hmm. if it can even, it either can harm you and I just crit you or- Well, you don't it, know that it crit. Wait, what was the roll? Yeah, what was it? There's a 34 and you oh. lose oh, yeah. your AC bonus. You, you, no, you just lose your armor, your armor bonus. Like your it's item bonus. wasn't wearing any. So if you don't wear armor, then like you probably still get that. I've got same. braces of armor on. Is that plus two, right? Braces of um, armor give you plus two, or plus one? It says item bonus plus one. Okay, okay so what, what is your, your new AC? AC? Well, without the one, it's 23. Oh, okay. So yeah. even with the one, that's yeah. a crit. So it's a crit. Uh, it gains resistance eight to physical damage is immune to precision damage. The question is, does negative damage count as precision? No, no, negative no. damage is- I mean, not, not magical precision, it's physical. Okay, so no. it goes through. Physical is just, is just, uh, Whacking. Is, oh my God. Yeah, it's whacking. It's, it's whacking. slashing, bludgeoning, and piercing. That's physical damage. Whacking. I guess this the real question be... is, can you touch a gap? Can you touch a vapor? Well, you can with this magical energy. It's like negative magical energy. That's why she gets resistance against physical damage. So her hand like goes into this gaseous form. It's The whole thing starts crackling with it, uh, negative energy. And you take double damage, which is an end up being uh, 30 points of Ooh. negative damage. Oh. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, and you have to roll a fortitude save. No problem, okay, got it. <laughs> In your gaseous state. <laughs> There's just like crackling. Natural it. six, so that's a 21. Oh. You are now drained one. Cool, cool, oh. cool. Totally got this. <laughs> totally got this. I'm good. Oh my good. gracious goodness. <laughs> oh God. Just when I thought you guys were out, Bonnie Raitt stepped up to the <laughs> Step to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, Bonnie Raitt. <laughs> so, uh, I haven't been on that Twitter uh, in a while. Yeah. I gotta go there. Oh, the, the, uh, the SNL, SNL. guest SNL making SNL introducing, <laughs> celebrities introducing my musical guests. favorite Twitter. <laughs> it's a good Twitter. Does it still exist? <laughs> oh my God, absolutely. It's like Christian Slater, ladies and gentlemen, run DMC. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a moment in time, they're all fantastic. <laughs> uh, all right, Suki, you are up. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Eris, how bad are you? I have 11 hit points. <sighs> I'm planning on flying away and doing the three okay, action okay. thing, if I can do that. Okay. Then everything takes too many actions. I was gonna try to do a bigger heal on everybody, but it's it's not gonna work. So Suki is so Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh Suki goes <laughs> <laughs> Ethel Ethel is in a pile of this is a giant pool of blood. What's funny is Ethel fell unconscious before Suki turned into a dinosaur, so Ethel <laughs> opens his eyes and there's a giant dinosaur. And Suki's nowhere to be found. Ethel has learned from hanging out with this group just to just yeah. roll with it. Roll with it. Uh <laughs> Well, Suki hears you say that, and with her dinosaur eyes, she looks at you in a single tear, Forbes, and she just goes, <laughs> <laughs> It's a weird She's, dream, man. No, it's, it's a weird, weird dream. dream. It really is a weird dream. <laughs> <laughs> and then, She's, and then you were, you were a dinosaur. A dinosaur? And you took his hat. <laughs> you were you, but you were like a dinosaur and then version of I can and, see and, and you, and you were yeah, yelling at me, you, you were like, Take the hat! 
And I was like, how? You're a flying dinosaur. And then I was like, oh, I'm flying. And then I was flying. <laughs> and then Aldo went below the ship for just a second and came right back came up. back up. And we don't you're know why he did that. We you don't know why cloud. he did that. You're a cloud. You're and a you cloud and you're floating around. I don't know how it happened, but all of a sudden you were a cloud. It really is a dream. It really um, is. Suki is going to fly up 40 feet, which is my fly speed as a pterosaur. And um, she is then going to cast heal. Oh, I can't cast when I'm in dinosaur. Fuck. Oh, man. Rule number one. My That's problem also. I was about to say, it's verbal, so she says, damn it, she's a dinosaur, and she can't say anything. So you know what? She's gonna fly up 40 feet, uh, fly out 40 feet, actually. She's over by Atticus, off the boat, um, makes more sense. And I, damn, that sucks. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, that's you it. You could just try the awake action instead of flying. Oh, but no, if you fail, you'll fall, because you need to at least move or hover. Ooh, baby, you and Atticus are gonna be in a bit of a pickle there. Okay, but I mean, it's the only thing I can do. So I think she calls Pepsi back to her one action. She doesn't actually have to call it back as an action, but I'm saying she takes Pepsi with her. Can Pepsi uh, fly? She scoops. Oh. She scoops Come Pepsi. Pepsi. <laughs> Pepsi just hops on your back, all right. And she, I can't move my dinosaur, but if you'll move me over by Atticus, that'll be my turn. Okay. Let me get all four of these pawns over there. 30 feet off the port side of the ship. Uh, all right, so there's <laughs> just a snake on a flying <laughs> stegosaurus. Uh, you go off in the distance there, and then the it's stegosaurus <laughs> is surprisingly nimble in the air. <laughs> <laughs> a graceful beast. A, gra a graceful beast. <laughs> the stegosauruses were known for their graceful flight. Uh, <laughs> oh look! Oh hark! A stegosaurus has alighted on my finger. <laughs> there will be three more weeks of fall. Uh, Joe, you're up, Atticus. Uh, Atticus is going to use his last focus point of the day and cast Invisibility Cloak. <laughs> and vanish with the hat and all from nice. all seeing eyes. Wow. And then just as he starts to lose some altitude from casting, he begins his flight another 30 feet toward the port, uh, sorry, toward the aft of the ship, keeping a wide berth. Uh, it's going to take him multiple rounds, but I'll just let you know, Troy, that my plan is to fly the long way around back to our ship, get to uh, onto Safety. the deck, and then wake up. But he's invisible the whole time. Okay. All right. So you're. It looks like you may have accomplished the mission, but like yeah. How and so much he will say, like, right before be he goes out, he'll say to Dinosaur Suki, um, <laughs> "I have it. We have it. Wake up. Wake yourself up." And then he vanishes before your eyes, as okay. if. You think he might have woken up. <laughs> Great response. After your, your wounded one, so you don't have to make any more saves. However, you are going to continue to take this persistent damage. Oh, yeah. You're just going to be dying again. Um, I'm going to wake up. Okay. Will save. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Solid DC. Uh, that is a 25. That is a success. Yes! <laughs> yes! Huge. What is this? What's oh the DC? Oh my gosh. Amazing. It's not easy, right? I think it's 23. 23. Oh, it's 23. 23. Yeah. So Ethel just, wake up, wake up, wake up. God. Wow. <laughs> it's not I often in a dream shot. that you that you die, go unconscious, and then wake back up. You're still in the dream, and then wake yourself up. No, no, and then die again. And then die yeah. again, yeah. and then wake up again. It just seems like torture. Wow. Very, very, I, I, I'm actually shocked. I thought you were done. Me too. Uh, all right, Pepsi, you're done. Uh, it's the captain's turn, and now there's just less and less people to go after. Aldo and Eris fewer. are uh, fewer, uh, are <laughs> chilling there. <laughs> chilling, as it were. Uh, Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I wonder if this is interesting. How about both Eris and Aldo give me a will save? Uh, oh, come on, man. <sighs> Here, sir. Come That's on. a 23. 
21 for El Eldo. All right. Get him out of the way before the wake comes. You see the captain like start waving his hands back and forth. And as he does, these like colors emanate from his fingers and sort of spray out into this geometric pattern that is like catching both of your eyes. And it kind of starts wafting over in your general direction and surrounding you. So you're like in this prismatic, dazzling display. Um, so basically, you are fascinated by the pattern. Um, a creature, uh, blah, 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 when uh, you can't use the seek or what does it say here? Uh, a creature must attempt a will saving throw if it's inside the pattern when you cast it. When you enter the pattern, when it, or it uses it, okay. A creature currently fascinated by the pattern doesn't attempt new save. So you're fascinated. Um, is there an explanation of the fascinated condition? Yeah. We're compelled to focus our attention on something distracting you from whatever else is going on around you. You take negative two status penalty to perception and skill checks. You can't use actions with the concentrate trait unless they or their intended consequences are related to the subject of your fascination as determined by GM. I see. Uh, you might be able to seek and recall knowledge about the subject, but you likely couldn't cast a spell targeting a different creature. The condition ends if a creature uses hostile actions against you or your allies. So it's oh, very good. similar to uh, Pathfinder First Edition uh, Fascinate. Um, it is not a very viable combat spell, uh, but right. it's very good for social. But uh, I don't know. In this case, it feels like it's almost saving you. <laughs> like. But yeah, would you concentrate on waking up? I guess you can't concentrate on waking up. Is that a concentration thing? I will have to look. You'll have it to has rule the concentrate. on it. I, well, Ron may have written it. Uh, if it has the concentrate. A wake up is like an Right, it might action. have like the yeah. concentrate. In which case, that's cool. But uh, then he is just going to uh, close on the both of you with his final action and get right next to you. Um, he's still frightened one. And he's taken some damage, but again, he's healing every round. And now it is time for Eris to do something. Oh, so what's the deal with this concentrate with waking what up? What is the deal with concentrating? <laughs> what's the deal with concentrating? <laughs> what's the deal uh, with waking up? I'm glad you asked. Give me a second while that Google thing. Uh, so you're planning on waking up. That's what you're thinking I about. I would love to try. So you want to wake up, huh? Someone should hand you a pamphlet. So you're thinking about waking up. <laughs> I'm just stalling. Uh, while <laughs> I'm trying to think of like, up. so you guys, are, what, uh, what was it like? Did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed today? I did. <laughs> I can't. Um, Google Docs is uh, incredibly slow. Um, I believe. I can, I can vamp. Record scratch. Eris says, you're probably wondering how I got into this dream. <laughs> I mean, you free, can also yeah, just free. make the call, Troy. No, I know. I was just, I was really just curious if it said anything. Um, but what if he calls and he says, it is concentrating and it's not? It does have the concentrate trait. Nice, oh. Ron. That's so smart. Does it really? Mm -hmm. Well, why does wouldn't it? You have to concentrate really? to yeah. wake up from this horror. Yeah. Uh, well mm. done, Ron Lefty. So, That's cool. I can't wake up. Can um, I fly well, away? So this, there's this pattern around you. You could uh, try to leave the pattern because the fascinated condition doesn't prevent you from doing it. It sort of bursts around you in a uh, 10 foot area. So if you move out of the pattern, you'll no longer be fascinated. However, you have used an action, which means that you can't use the awaken action this turn. Yeah. 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 I mean, that seems like what I got to do. Um, and you'll provoke from the wraith. Actually, the wraith's stunned. I can't, I don't think I can take reactions. Also, I'm not sure I do because I'm gas. I think that's one of my things. Okay, gas. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm going to move just all three actions, so 30 feet. Um, I'm just like out of the boat as far as I can away from you. Okay, all right, so you're no longer fascinated, you're out of there, and then you have two more actions. I f so I can only move 10 feet, 
as a gaseous form, so I okay, figured moving so 30 was my three actions. Yeah. I got you. Okay. Or I'll move 20 feet, and then I'll become not a gaseous form anymore. All right, so you dismiss the spell yes. as your third action. Okay, very cool. Um, perfect. That was Eris. Now it's the boat's turn once more. And we'll get to that right after this quick break. So I heard something recently. I don't think it was on the news because I don't really like watching the news. It's too depressing. Famine, poverty, billion dollar companies wildly out of touch with their fan base. But I heard somewhere in the old grapevine that a lot of people are starting to play Pathfinder all of a sudden. Well, hey, if you're new to Pathfinder, maybe you'd be interested in the network that puts out the most downloaded, most successful, and most listened to Pathfinder podcasts and streams in existence. In fact, because we love you so much, we want to welcome you into our community next Wednesday night, January 25th, live right here on twitch.tv slash the glass cannon at 8 p.m. Eastern, we're going to run like a three, four hour stream of an introductory Pathfinder scenario with me running Joe, Skid, Mary Lou, and Paula Deming through a very exciting scenario. So, hey, if you're new to Pathfinder and you just want to see what it's all about, there's one place to watch it, and it's right here on the Glass Cannon Network. We'll see you Wednesday. go after here. I think it would be fun. Where are you, Eris? I'm not on the boat anymore. I'm on the other boat. Oh, you flew to the other boat. As far as I thought would make sense. Okay. Um, well, the uh, manacle comes up once again to uh, try and grab uh, Skid, and I think I fail. What was your fortitude, DC? Uh, 24. Uh, no, I did make it. So the manacle comes up and grabs around your leg. If you're just trying to awake it, I don't think, uh, well, if it has, you might have to. Uh, I'm still fascinated, though. So. Yeah, you're still fascinated. So it may, like, restrain you from trying to get out of the fascination. But a manacle comes up again, and you all see this if you're keeping your attention on the boat. It wraps around. Poor well, I would, I would say that Aldo's breaks the leg. fascination. He said get, he got attacked. That's fair. Also, oh, right. action. Yeah. Eris yells, like, just okay. turn into gas. <laughs> <laughs> That's great advice. You hear a gas whispering on the wind. <laughs> just become a gas. <laughs> uh, well, Aldo, it is your turn. You do have a manacle around you, but I don't think that the, um, the grabbed condition should prevent you from concentrating. Yeah. So, yeah, the manacle wrapping around him. Uh, knocks him out of his his trance, and yeah, he's gonna try to wake up. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. It's a will save. Will save. Fuck off. Fuck oh. off, you piece of crap. <laughs> no, that is a failure. So you made it. Uh, <laughs> oh, all right. So no. Aldo is just like shaking himself, pinching himself. Cannot wake up and he's been left alone on this boat. Aldo, free of madness on the outside world. Oh, he's, he's the only left. one? He's well, the, the only, only one, one, I think. It is free of madness. Uh, Eris has something. You, Atticus, have two. Ethel has one and Suki. I, I have a major. You have a major, yeah. And Suki just doesn't feel right. Um, but yeah, Aldo is still unscathed. What? I thought you guys were going to kill them. All right, well, it is... Uh, it is the the Wraith's turn, but again, the Wraith is clumsy. However, uh, it is not too clumsy that it can't surround Aldo. Um, and then it moves to Suki's turn. Suki, you see 
Oh, just imagine the scene, like Aldo is on that boat and you know it's a dream, you know you've you're basically accomplished your mission at this point, um, but Aldo has got like a manacle around his leg dragging him back into the ship, surrounded by the captain, captain and this wraith. Uh, if you guys leave and he can't wake up, they could just maul him to death. I don't know what to do! Um, shit. It's so hard too, because I can't cast in this, I have to get out of this animal form regardless, so what I have to do is fly uh, the 40 feet exactly to our boat, my fly speed. Um, I can't move my dinosaur, but fly <laughs> right, right to our boat. Um, I'm gonna come out of wild shape. Uh, shoot. And then I have one action left, which is useless. Um, <laughs> I don't even think. What is this? Touch? No, 30 feet. Are you 30 feet from me, Aldo? Uh, as the my, crow flies. You are. Yes. As my yep. one action left for this stupid turn, closer. I give Aldo guidance. And back in Suki's form, she goes, Aldo! We can't leave you! And she right. casts guidance on you, and you That's... feel a little tight. Awesome. Okay. Is guidance that. one action? Yep. Yes. Just a cantrip. A little cantrip. Uh, okay. All right. So maybe that plus one will be the difference maker. Um, Atticus, what do you think, buddy? Um, Atticus is going to three action fly uh, around, and he's almost at the boat. So at our okay. boat. He was just taking a wide berth so as to not cross over. He doesn't know if the ship, which seems sentient, has any abilities to sense his presence and like attack him. So he wasn't gonna fly right over it. He's flying the long way around. And yeah, now he's about 15 feet from uh, their boat. I just, <laughs> I just realized something, which is that this boat has the ability to come into the, uh, the waking world and has been hunting us down and leaving the captain alive and taking his hat. Yeah, but I mean, What's he gonna do we with don't hat, have though? another option because that seems we like can't, a problem for awake us. Yeah, we can't yeah. really <laughs> deal any. That damage. sounds like a problem for awake us. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I agree with Kate. That's a good uh, good point there, Matthew. Um, all right, so Atticus, three action, super fly. Ethel, we come back to you, and you wake up on the mm. boat, and you see all your companions. Just lying there. I throw water in all of their faces. I take a <laughs> glass of water next to each of their beds and I throw it in their faces. The water was warm and they all wet themselves. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> it was oh, if you dunked uh, in one, each of their hands individually into it. They all I thought that's how you woke them up. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, no. Uh, that's his turn. Yeah. That's gonna be real. Uh, oh, oh, oh. supposed to wake a sleepwalker. It's dangerous. Uh, Pepsi, I'm assuming, is no longer taking actions. Yeah. It's the captain's turn. The captain. Poor Aldo. Oh, so you just you hate to see it. Um, the captain is going to. Uh, again, you see that mouth just stand with these long, razor sharp teeth, and he just goes to take a bite right into Aldo's chest. Oh my god, that might be a critical. Uh, well, 37. Yep, that's a crit. Uh, all right, not a natural 20, so it's just a straight up double damage. Um, Jeepers, bro. Okay, could have been a lot worse. Um, 22 points of piercing damage. Oh, almost almost hey. minimum, almost minimum. You're fine. Uh, Oh no, this is bad. Now I need a fortitude save. Jesus. Man, I don't think I've ever passed a save in this game. In second edition. <laughs> in, Literally. in four years of the DCs are Okay, maybe a first ever. Fortitude save? Yes. 32. That is a pass. Wow, <laughs> nice work. There he goes. That there he is goes. A, that is a very good pass. Uh, 
All right, so for his first action, it bites you, crits, only only takes 22 damage. Your armor protects you from the teeth fully sinking in, uh, and you're able to stave off whatever awful thing was about to happen to you. Uh, and then it comes swooping in with a kukri and uh, fails uh, with a 17 on the kukri. Um, and then it is just going to, I say it, he is... Uh, Oh, did he just slip? Is it an it? <gasps> I just... Sha-ga-ga-ga-goo. Oh. Write it down, Matthew. You know, he slipped. I, I just... I just... I just said it. Um, <laughs> does he think they're all monsters? Uh, all right, he is going to... Uh, you know, I really don't have anything else I, I want to do here. There's only one enemy even to move again. Uh, he's got such a high to hit. I'm going to try one more... Uh, one more swipe with that kukri, uh, 19. Uh, I'm assuming he's going to be a miss. So, uh, but you're flat-footed still, miss. Uh, yes, the soul. All right, so he he takes that big bite and then stab stab with this sweet-looking kukri uh, that none of you will get, and uh, he misses. So it then goes to Eris. Did you say sweet kukri? Yeah, pretty sweet kukri. It's we can't bring it back with us though. You can't take it with you. Uh, unless, okay. yeah. haha, unless we can, because the ship can come through. It's hard to tell with this one. Hard to oh, tell sure. what. Well, yeah, maybe also, it'll come who chase us. Ethel, when we're alive. It'd be good for Ethel, I guess. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna try to wake up. Uh, we'll save. Will William save? That's a 12, so that's a 26. Nice. You. <laughs> Wake up. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and then there were three. The uh, the Bloodwind maintains its uh, manacle on Eldo and attempts to uh, pull him below deck and does so, uh, pulling in the direction. So he's pulling you back. <sighs> What a horrible that, nightmare. Towards that <laughs> hole that's, uh, that you would went down. <laughs> I'm not done with you. <laughs> oh, God. You're just sliding across these boards. Um, and now it's Aldo's turn. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try once again to wake up. Wake up, you silly bastard. He's clicking his heels together. I have the guidance. Use it obviously on this roll. Come on, come on, Aldo. Okay. I okay. Twenty-seven. Yeah. Aldo wakes up. Dude, oh, wow. <laughs> I can't believe it. Like just as you being the pulled is under, pulling him away. Yeah, it's like, yeah. oh, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. <laughs> that is amazing. amazing. Uh, all right, so only two left. Will you be able to get out of here before they come and get you? It's the Wraith's turn. The Wraith is actually going, oh, he's the Wraith's clumsy. The Wraith just sort of clumsily No, floats. the Wraith is now full John. Oh yeah, Wraith is not clumsy. Anymore. Oh, that's right. Oh, oh shit. Amazing. I actually, that's what I meant to do was drop the bottled sunlight so it would stay where I was. But I didn't say that I was gonna, that I did it, so. The Wraith also it, isn't demoralized anymore because it was demoralized against me. So that's a full-fledged wraith. Okay. Um, let's go then. It is going to... Let me just see how much... Oh, no. Suki, you just chilling there, Sukes? Oh, no! Oh, it can fly 40 feet. Oh, no, Sukes! Oh, oh yeah. No! Uh, Pepsi, you're right there, Peps? Pepsi's there. Uh, all right, so it will just fly right next to you. That's the first action. Uh, and then it is going to touch you with its spectral hand. Oh, 34 to hit. Yeah. Not a crit? Uh, no. Okay. 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 Oh Okay, that's gonna be uh, 13 points of negative energy damage. Now give me a fortitude save. Okay. Uh, I think I'm fine. Uh, 28. You are fine. 
You Whoa. damn fine. Dude, that's, okay. that had to be close, though. Didn't 27 fail? Well, oh, that was against the cabin. And then with its final action, now that it's back to full John, it reaches out with another spectral hand and misses with an 18. <laughs> no, I laugh. Ha, 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 ha. Will you still be laughing when it's your turn? Because it is. Okay, Suki was going to try to like help Aldo and do more stuff, which is why she stayed close, but that was a mistake. Uh, <laughs> yep, Aldo is always the first to wake up. He's just like, yeah. see ya, and he just yeah. wakes up. <clears throat> now Suki, Suki's like, wake up, wake up, wake up. Like this is true nightmare fuel, this fucking wraith attacking her. Oh, that's not going to do it. Uh, uh, wait. Oh. We'll, we'll save. That's... No, wait, 24. <laughs> that's 24. 24, do it. Wait, count again. Nine. And be honest this time. Plus yes. 15 is 24? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You made it. Dang. <sighs> Good. Oh. oh. Yeah, I think she Barely. just wakes up going... <laughs> And like, <laughs> like getting hit by the claw as she's waking up the second claw. She's just like, <gasps> and wakes up. Ugh, so terrifying. Atticus, what do you do? Atticus. Oh no. Going the to... one with the hat, by the Atticus way. is going to oh, right. the <laughs> Played by Joe O'Brien. You know what? <laughs> Matthew, Matthew's right. Matthew's right. This thing might come into the real world. So he's going to take them both down. He comes out of invisibility. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, he... <laughs> can't, look at Kate's like, what it's the like, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. This is... He's going to fly. So he's going to fly uh, stealthily, stealthily around to the other side of the cabin of the boat. Okay. Uh, the other okay. side from the... Um, uh, wraith. Okay. He sees the wraith. The wraith does not see him. How do you know? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> he flies around the other side and settles down so he's like just over top of the deck. Mm -hmm. And I was looking up rolling stealth and stuff like that. I mean, I guess I'll do it, but I don't really see the point. Uh, the hide Wait, action you can use in combat is really to become hidden, mm -hmm. but he's already undetected, like unless she has some other ability. Um, uh, the Wraith does not know where he is. So he's just going to settle in and remain completely still. Okay. And then try to wake up. All right, so you settle in. I just didn't want to do it over the water, because I, if I can't fly, I fall into the water. And if I fail, like I, I don't know what happens then. Right. I didn't want to die with the hat drowning underwater. Okay. Uh, my World Trunny's being a little... Uh fishy right now, but it, it will come back around uh, to the captain's turn. And the captain uh, casts a spell on him and begins to lift up into the air and starts making his way over to your boat. Oh, the, uh, the wraith. Imagine, this is like Lord of the Rings. It's just like... <laughs> to me, it was like yeah. in Jurassic Park when the velociraptors are like breathing on the glass. Yeah. And like, oh. yeah. <sighs> I imagine you're standing there, like maybe your back, like to the thing, just like invisible. And you look trying this to way. like calm his breathing. And there's just this like, I, I'm like let me get the wire, see second season, <laughs> to give you an idea of what it looks like. You just see around the corner, this you're like, <sighs> and, he's and it's just like, Sleeking around the corner. Where's Wallace? Where's Wallace? Where's Wallace String? <laughs> Where's Wallace, Wallace String? <laughs> He's just coming like right up to you <laughs> and does not sense your presence. Oh, <laughs> come on. Try to wake up, Joseph. Oh, come this on, is like Joe. the next nightmare. Like they're coming for you. They haven't seen you yet, but you know they're looking. They're looking. And he's next, gonna... it, next round, it could walk into your space, feel you're there, and start taking attacks with penalties. I don't know why I had to say that. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling to wake up. Natty 18. Yes! Oh! Yeah! Natty! Oh! 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 Tate! 
go! Oh, baby, I did it! Oh, oh, oh man, you <laughs> wake back up, and you are all sitting there, and you look up at Ethel, who's holding a cup of water. You're all uh, soaked and full of urine. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we did it. did it. We're so good at waking up now. I wish I had a prop <laughs> tricorn hat to put on. Everyone bring your tricorn hats for the next yeah. session. Right. Yeah. Five yeah. gifts. Hats. Okay. Five gifts. <laughs> <laughs> good night, everybody.